Hey kids, it's a Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Out and about on the uh, Trump Street Twin. My newest bike, a bike that I've had now for about, uh, oh, about three weeks I suppose. Been riding the pants off it as much as I can and uh, got to the point where I think I know what the good and bad points are. So stick around, stay tuned. I'll give you the top five things I love about the Triumph and Speed Twin. That barely started and I'm behind a white van already, although calling it white is doing it a favour, I think. Stephen Duke's parquet flooring. You need to get a new van, mate. That one is horrendous. Okay, so as I say, I've been riding the uh, Speed Twin as much as I possibly can the last few weeks. Because when you get a new bike, you just want to get a run in, don't you? So I'm glad to say, I've done about 500 miles on it now. And yesterday I took it up to uh, the local dealer. Got its first service done. So it's got new oil in, it's had all the uh, bolts checked to make sure everything's staying tight and everything greased up again. And she's feeling absolutely lovely as a result. So in the process of riding these last 500 miles on her, a few things have stood out to me that uh, I absolutely love about the bike, and that's what I'm going to tell you about in this video, my top five things I absolutely love about the Speed Twin. It's an absolutely cracking bike. I would say that anyway, of course, because I bought one. Uh, I thought that, and that's why I bought one. If you haven't seen my uh, initial review of the bike, then uh, I'll stick a link up in the corner somewhere. Do go and have a check out of that, because in that I go through you know, what the seating position is like, how it rides, what the spec is, all that sort of stuff. So if you want that sort of review, go there. What I need is an opportunity to overtake this white van. Might be one around this corner. Oh, white van, there's a black van in front of it. Look at that, great. Well, while we're waiting for a bit of uh, opportunity to overtake these vans or turn off somewhere else, let me tell you the first thing that I love about the bike. And that is, very simple, the fact that it's a Triumph. I love the fact that it's a British motorcycle. I think uh, Triumph, being a successful manufacturer of bikes now, one of the major players, in fact, in the world. Everybody's heard of Triumph motorcycles, haven't they? They make some cracking machines. They make some absolute crackers in the uh, retro end of things. I'm going to come down here just to get out of the way of that white van. And I'm really thrilled to be riding a British bike in Britain. Now, to be completely honest with you, I'm not too sure whereabouts the Speed Twin is made. I suspect it might be Hinkley, but it could be in one of the uh, factories in Thailand, I don't know. But that's not important to me. I really don't care where a bike is made. It's designed in Britain. It's a, a British specification. It's built in a factory that has British quality control. And they're British designers that have made it. And I'm not saying that uh, Britain is better than anywhere else or British bikes are any better than Italian or American or Japanese. It's just that as a British man, I'm proud to ride a British bike. It's a straightforward patriotism thing. So number five on my list, the things that I love about the Triumph Speed Twin is that it's a Triumph. And that to me, as a British person, is a great thing. It warms my heart. What a beautiful day to be riding through the country. It's just the perfect riding to weather today. It's about uh, 21, 22 degrees centigrade. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't have to be stupidly togged up. I've just got my hoodie on and my jeans and my riding boots. They're all riding kit, by the way. They're all properly armoured and so on. But just not so trussed up as you have to be in the winter. It just makes it an absolute pleasure. Anyway, back to the point of the video. On to number four, then, on my list of the top five things that I love about the Triumph Speed Twin, and that's very simple. And one of the things that makes you buy a bike in the first place, it certainly does me, and that is its looks. I think this looks absolutely cracking, this machine. Now I know Triumph have lots of the Bonneville family bikes out there, and they all look largely similar if you look at the T100, the T120, the Street Twin. All those bikes, and indeed the Scramblers, and the Street Scrambler, they all have uh, many things in common. But the Speed Twin, I think it's just a handsome looking bike. It's sort of brutish. I think its best angle, if you have a look at this picture I took a couple of days ago, is from the rear quarter. I think it looks lovely from behind. It's one of the few bikes that I've ever bought that doesn't really need a tail tidy. In the fullness of time, I probably will put a little tail tidy just to move the number plate a little bit closer to the mudguard. 
but Triumph have done a nice job of the mudguard, which is that uh, sort of brushed aluminium affair. And the styling generally, in keeping with uh, all modern day Triumphs, the fit and finish is beautiful. It's got some lovely little touches about it. GoPro down. Oh no. GoPro emergency. Where the hell is it? That's interesting. I might have to look back over the footage to see where that came off because I can't see it on the road anyway. Bananas. Got it. There you are. Well, what a game that was. Just found the little critter. It was sat in a grass verge over that side. I must have been wandering up and down this road here for a good 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, I just could not find it. It must have just bounced off the road and gone into that long grass. But anyway, luckily I've got it, she's still working, I just need to set her up again, so uh, as you were. Right, well that rather interrupted my flow, a little bit of excitement there. Camera shot off. Anyway, it serves me right for attaching it to the dial probably. I'll put it now as you can see, a little bit nearer to me, so the angle will be a bit different. On the fuel tank, seems quite solid. Let's hope it lasts for a few minutes more. Anyway, without further ado then, and before I run completely out of battery, Let's move on. So that was number four, the looks of the bike. I just think she looks amazing. So, number three of my top five things I love about the Trump Speed Twin. Quite an appropriate one actually, because uh, <laughs> number three on my list is the fact that it has be these beautiful old school dials on the bike. No TFTs here. It has got a little bit of LCD action there, just to show you things like trip counters and fuel gauge. And so you can do things like turn the traction control on and off and uh, various riding modes and so on. But uh, Triumph have resisted, unlike they did unlike uh, they did on the big Scrambler 1200 where they've got a TFT. On this bike they've resisted putting a TFT on it and they've got old school dials. These dials are very similar to the ones on the Thrux and I absolutely love them. I think they look like jewels. They're like fine watches and uh, the bike is much better for it. So uh, yeah, number three on my list are those lovely dials on the front of the bike. I just think a retro bike deserves dials rather than TFT. Don't worry about it, lady. <laughs> Seemed very panicked. All under control. Okay, so we get into the serious stuff now. Number two on my list to the top five things I love about the Triumph Speed Twin. Number two, should be able to demonstrate to you now. Listen to this. didn't hear it very well through the microphone in my helmet but it's actually the engine noise of this bike it sounds absolutely beautiful I just love the way this sounds that's number two on my list is the engine sound on this proper big twin thumpy triumph I love it so to number one on my list then of the top five things that I love about this bike having ridden it now for three weeks or so 500 plus miles on it what is the thing that I love most about it well not only do I love the way that that engine sounds but I love the way the engine goes number one on my list is the engine on this bike it's just got so much shove I've done a lovely job of tuning it so that all the torque is where you need it at real world speeds between 10 miles an hour and 70 the bike if you wind the throttle on particularly in sport mode it just wants to pull your arms out of its sockets it's one of those proper wolf in sheep's clothing this bike don't be fooled that just because it's a retro bike you think it might be soft this is the most brutal bonneville i've ever ridden <laughs> she was off to off 
like a rocket. <laughs> yeah. It's just a cool machine. Quickly get past this scooter. Here. The fit and finish on it is lovely. It handles beautifully. It's just a lovely machine, so uh, we're looking forward to many years of ownership ahead, me and the Speed Twin. And don't forget, if this is the first time that uh, you've been to my channel, I don't just do bike reviews. I do things in the garage, I do stuff about how to look after your bike, I do live streams every month. I do uh, a news review every month as well, where I look back at the uh, bike news for the UK over the month. Basically, anything and everything is to do with motorcycling I try and cover here on the Mission to Fly. If you haven't done so already, it'd be fantastic to have you subscribe. So do hit the uh, subscribe button down below and I'll see you next time. Alright, that's it for now. Look forward to speak to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mission and Fly. Cheerio.